Hey guys, Cody Adair here. I'm with Jason Merkel, and we wanted to go ahead and give you guys a good shout out on the pre-Black Friday sale that we have going on that actually started yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to just go over some of the air category items that we currently have going on. Yes. It's holiday time, so we know everybody's doing some shopping, so we definitely want to get you guys as much information as we can to give you the best, you know, the best content we can right now. Yeah, so yeah. shopping for uh, gifts, obviously to give to other people, and then uh, maybe a little shopping for yourself yeah. too. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of great deals here. We're gonna cover everything in a little bit of detail. The nice thing is we've got everything from trainers to more experienced models to high-end transmitters. Um, there's a little bit of everything in the sale right now. We're only going to cover the air products in this particular segment, uh, but make sure you go to the website, horizonhobby.com, check out our specials page. You can see the pre-Black Friday sale. All the items are listed there. There's some low C vehicles on sale. Uh, there's some other aircraft that aren't here, which we'll talk about, uh, that you don't see here. Um, and then if you guys stick around to the end of the video, we might give you a little insight on when the Black Friday deals are going live. Bit. Possibly, maybe we'll see. Uh, as long as you guys are nice to us in the comments. And yeah. by the way, Cody is online right now on Facebook. Uh, he is going to be monitoring the comments there. We can hopefully answer the questions as quickly as they come. Be sure to let us kind of go through everything before you ask too many questions about each one, maybe the sale price, so on and so forth. Uh, but I think we've got some really, really good deals here. Big point is that pre-Black Friday sale, again, this is before Black Friday. It's uh, not our final Black Friday items. All of these items though, they went on sale yesterday. Uh, the time you guys are seeing this, this is Tuesday, uh, what is it, the 18th, oh geez, 19th. So yesterday was Monday the 18th is when they went live. Um, we did have some technical difficulties on the website yesterday. So yeah. some of the prices weren't showing correctly on the product pages. When you added it to cart, it should have shown the sale price. If for whatever reason you go to the website now, you don't see the sale price, make sure to refresh the page, clear your cache. Uh, th that should make it all show up correctly. So the sale prices are valid without a coupon code. Right. You don't have to have a coupon code for this particular sale. Uh, these are actual sale prices. They are gonna be listed on the product page. You can add it to cart. Uh, one big thing is, all of these items are also available at the sale prices at participating retailers. Yep. So that's your favorite local hobby shop, your favorite online hobby shop. You'll be able to get these deals, uh, again, as of yesterday. And then this sale runs through Cyber Monday. Right, which is December 2nd. The 2nd, yeah, yep. December yep. 2nd. So, uh, or, while supplies last. Well, oh, that's true. That's the big thing. So true. we yeah. we will sell out of some of these items, guys. Uh, maybe not right now because this isn't the super busy time. Next week though, going into Black Friday in particular, uh, there's gonna be a lot more traffic on our website, a lot more traffic at stores. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of places sell out of some of these items. A lot of stores did stock up on these. We stocked up on some of these. Uh, but that said, again, some of these are gonna run out before the sale ends. So if you want one, get it now. The big thing is that these air these aircraft here that you're seeing, or the, you know, the transmitter, the quads, these are not gonna be on sale at a lower price anytime between now and the end of the year. Right. This sale right now, through the second, Cyber Monday, this is the lowest price that these products are gonna be this year. Uh, and a lot of them are gonna go back to regular price and they're gonna be, be that way for a very long time to come. So right now is a great time to buy. I know it's kind of that, that lull between, um, you know, back to school and maybe a little bit of that, you know, last minute fall flying that you were doing and now we're going into the holiday season. But right now is the best time to buy these particular products. And we try to have a nice mix here. Everything again from trainers to high end, some ultra micros, a little bit of everything mixed up and in between. Uh, one airplane, which I'll mention, it's not here because it's so big is the Hangar 9 X-Cub 60cc. Yes. That's a good deal, right? Yep, I think it's $150 off right now. I don't think it's ever been on sale before, to be no. honest. So $150 off, regular price is $899 on that ARF. That's $749.99, so yeah. 750 bucks for a 60cc Cub, X-Cub, which is a phenomenal flying airplane. I think it's a great, I love the trim scheme on that airplane. It looks yeah. really good. Allie did a killer job, knocked that one out of the park. Flies fantastic. Yep. I think uh, quite a few guys here have one. Steve's got one. It's very popular. Uh, very popular the around here. Guys, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure, yeah. So again, we didn't bring that only because it's so big, uh, but that is on sale. So we didn't forget about you Balsa guys. We didn't forget about you Giant Scale guys. Again, Hangar 9 X-Cub 60cc on sale for I believe the first time ever at 150 bucks off. That's a really stellar saving. Right. So I, I think we're also missing one other one, um, the E-Flight Pits. We oh. have the Pits 850 millimeter. Um, guys, those have been going really, really yeah. fast here in the, in the warehouse out here. So um, all I could muster up in time for you guys That's is uh, as a cool picture of one. <laughs> So, so uh, yes, they're literally going out of the warehouse so fast we couldn't even get a box to show yes. you guys. Um, again, this just went on sale yesterday. And honestly, when the prices weren't quite right, the first yes. question everybody asked is, the 
what's the price of the pits? What's the price of the pits? So there is the pits, guys. That's the a new 850 millimeter. That's not the ultra micro. Right. That's the kind of more park flyer size airplane. Yes. Um, the Bind and Fly Basic, which came out about a year ago, I think, give or take. It's a very popular airplane. It flies awesome. It's 3S and 4S compatible. Uh, it does come out of the box and go together very, very quickly. And it's so small, it's easy to transport in one piece. Yep. Um, the nice thing is that airplane, where it's the Bind and Fly Basic version that's on sale, and we're knocking $40 off. So regular price is $199. The sale price is $159.99. So right. again, we'll... One more, one more time for this picture, guys, for the camera. Get it in. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah so the, the pits, E-Flight pits, 850 millimeter, Bind and Fly basic version. Again, regular price $199 on sale for $159.99, $159 dollars $160 US. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that's going to sell out. Well, you know it's going fast when we can't even yeah, get one. Yeah, we can't even get so one. We, can't we sent get an email one. to the warehouse, we're like, please just <laughs> yeah. give us a box for a little while. Yeah. And no Yep, crickets. inventory moving way too so, quick for us. So Be sure to check yes. that one out. Uh, again, that one's also available at your favorite hobby shop, participating retailer. Should be at the sale price as well. And so let's go from that. Let's start on your end with the trainers. So yeah, we wanted to kind of uh, give you guys the best, or the, the cover all aspects of the hobby in this sale kind of guys. So um, obviously we have the Delta Ray One here. We have the Mini Apprentice. Um, both really good trainers to get yes. into. I would say if you're really you know brand new into the hobby, the Delta Ray One's probably going to be something you'd want to start with. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very cheap. It's in the sale. You're going to save some money um, if you're wanting to get into the hobby right now with this particular model as well. Um, very simple to fly. It's a Delta Wing. Flies. I want to kind of use the term like kind of like a kite. It just sits on the yeah. wing. It's really it's a really nice product. Um, so if you're if you're looking to get into the hobby and you're wanting to start off with something small, really affordable, easy to repair this is something you're gonna to wanna to start with. Yeah, and what's far. nice about it is uh, it's one of our few ultra micros that's made out of EPO foam. Right. So it's the more durable foam. A lot of ultra micros are usually made out of the uh, the lighter weight, but also somewhat more fragile EPS foam. Right. This has a rubber nose cone. So obviously when you crash, a lot of times you end up crashing on the nose and that rubber nose cone absorbs that impact. But on top of that, the rest of the airframe is EPO. So it's very, very durable. Yeah. You know, you can hand this to a five-year-old kid and he can bang it into things and it won't break. So it's a very simple airframe. Uh, the delta wing design, like you mentioned, it makes it just kind of one simple piece. Uh, it does have the pusher power system here with the folding prop. Uh, it is relatively easy to hand launch. It just, you, you have to do it a little differently. Some people do it by the fin here. Some people just lob it by the nose. Some people give it kind of like a little sidearm discus toss. Right. Uh, it's easy to launch. And then it is a three channel aircraft. So it's relatively easy to fly. There's no rudder. It does have elevons. It is capable of basic aerobatics. So yep. you, can, you can loop it, you can roll it, you can fly it inverted. Uh, it's just an easy, smooth flying airplane. And what's interesting about it is because of its its uh, delta wing shape and the airfoil that we used, it does actually penetrate wind very, very well for its size and weight. Sure. So a lot of ultra micros, even with AS3X on board, get bounced around a lot in the wind, can't really make forward progress in five to 10 mile per hour winds well. This airplane just cuts right through. Yep. And even for an experienced pilot, this thing is a blast, guys. It does run on the same two cell, 280 milliamp battery that we uh, we have for a lot of our other brushless powered ultra micros. And, and by the way, guys, it is a brushless motor. This is not a brushed motor. It is the 2S compatible outrunner brushless motor yep. uh, and again is set up for the the three pin connector that comes on the 2s 280 milliamp batteries in particular and uh, what's nice about it is this is on sale the ready to fly version which comes with the transmitter is on sale for 99 bucks so I think the bind and fly basic version is actually more expensive than that uh, and so this is a smoking deal guys you get a ready to fly you get the MLP6 DSM transmitter it's a spectrum equipped transmitter you get the 2s battery you get the charger you get the AC adapter all for 100 bucks yep if you're an experienced pilot and you want to use your own transmitter no problem you can buy the ready to fly and bind it to any spectrum DSM2 DSMX right. compatible transmitter you gotta have Elevon mixing no big deal uh, it is a beginner aircraft out of the box it's a trainer so it has regular safe right which means it it has the three flight modes. Yep, beginner, intermediate, advanced. You get banking limitations going at yeah. it if you're if you're a newbie, and it, it really helps. Yeah. So in the beginner mode, you can't get upside down and crash. You can't get up, you know, the nose up too high, high and stall it terribly bad. You can't, you know, fly straight into the ground even yeah. if you try. So uh, this is a great aircraft as a gift, as something for yourself. Again, ninety nine dollars. This is kind of like our, our best bang for the buck sub hundred dollar trainer deal going into the Christmas selling right. season. So uh, again, only on sale while supplies last or, or through Cyber Monday. Yeah. So twelve two. Uh, make sure you jump on this one. This is another one that I think could sell out. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got. Uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be interested in this, not only beginners, but also I think experienced guys. Again, a great gift yep. to give to someone if you want to give that, give that gift to flight to someone. So yeah. I think it's a $50 great $50 savings right there on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a, that's yep. a big savings. $50 yep. off on that. 100 bucks ready to go with Spectrum. 
brushless motor. You can't get either. I think most of our ultra micros now that are Binafly Basic are with a brushless motor are over $100. Oh, yeah. So that's the whole shebang for 99 Yep. Very, Pretty good, very deal. good deal. Very good deal. This also, though. Yep. Really so good deal. moving forward up to this, this is a little bigger. So if, if, you know, once you're comfortable flying something like that, you could get into something like this. You could actually get into something like this if, oh, if yeah. you, for your first plane as well, if mm -hmm. you really wanted to. Um, it flies really well. It's based off the bigger apprentice, is the mini apprentice. Um, also has the beginner, intermediate, advanced flight mode, similar to the Delta Ray. So you're going to have banking limitations and whatnot. Also a very good sale going on this one. Yes, yeah, so this is a really good deal, Very guys. good sale going on um, this one. So this one is regular price $249.99 for the ready-to-fly version. So about $250 US. That's also $50 off. So it's $199. Bucks. Yep. So it's sub $200 for a four-channel, full house, full-on you know, trainer. Right. And it's not just a trainer. I've flown the heck out of that airplane and I absolutely love it. You can do, even as an experienced pilot in the expert mode, experienced mode, you can do loops, rolls, rolling circles, inverted flight, uh, some pseudo knife edge. That airplane just flies great. And I know a lot of guys that have been flying for a long time say, I don't need a trainer in my stable. You know, it doesn't hurt to just have a trainer in your hangar at all times. Number one, it's a nice airplane to warm up on when you go out for a day Absolutely. of flying. Or let's say you're going out to fly and you're not sure about the conditions and you kind of want to make sure that it's comfortable for you to fly in X wind or, you know, an X area that you're flying in. This is a great way to kind of warm up. Uh, and again, a great flying airplane. And then on top of that, let's say you want to have a friend learn how to fly. Pfft. You know, put it in beginner mode and let them fly it, no problem. And then again, if you're a beginner, that is a perfect kind of advanced trainer to start with. Right. So the Delta Ray one is a simple airplane, relatively small, three channels. This is kind of a, a larger park flyer size uh, airplane that can handle a little bit more wind. It is four channels, so it does have a little bit more capability. Uh, it is a little more traditional airplane styling. Prop in the front. Um, prop in the front, yep. tricycle landing gear. Uh, it does have EPO foam construction, so it's a very, very tough airplane. Yep. It goes together just like the big one. Very you simple. Know, bolt on stabs, um, the wing rubber bands on, and the rubber bands are there for a reason. So if you ever crash and hit the wing, the wing twists as opposed to breaks off the fuselage if it was screwed on or say glued yep. on. So that's a nice feature there. Also, that has optional floats. So that's really cool. So if you want to fly off of water, you can get the floats for it. There's the Hobby Zone float set for it. It's a great flying airplane. So again, Hobby Zone Mini Apprentice S on sale during the pre-Black Friday sale for $199.99. So yep. under 200 bucks, really Absolutely. good deal. Oh, by the way, show the transmitter it comes with. Oh yes. So the it DXE. does in the ready-to-fly version come with the full-size Spectrum DXE transmitter of course, it has a three cell, 1300 milliamp LiPo battery. Uh, and one thing I haven't touched on is the flight time of that. That thing will fly like 15 minutes on a 1300 and like half an hour on a 2200 if you cruise around at low throttle. Low throttle it's on pretty impressive. it's not very windy that day. Yes, it's a <laughs> really good sure. flying airplane. And I gotta say, I've flown the big one a lot. I've flown this Mini Apprentice a lot. And to some degree, I almost think it flies a little better. It just has a little bit better power to weight ratio. It feels a little floatier overall. Now that's not saying I wouldn't replace that sure. with, you know, the big one with that, if I, especially as I, I was flying in very windy conditions, but that is a phenomenal trainer and a phenomenal value at sub 200 bucks. Absolutely. And it also helps if you're flying in a small area compared to the bigger apprentice. Yeah, you know, that you can fly in yeah. a soccer field, football field, right. whereas the bigger one you'd need to go to a, usually a club field right. to fly it. Yeah. Um, so going forward, if you're, if you're not into the trainers for the holiday season, if you're willing to get into something a little more aggressive, we do have the UMX F-20. 27 evolution. Yeah. Um, so this guy is kind of again a delta wing type, but it's a lot more powerful, a lot faster when you compare it to the Delta Ray one. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't necessarily consider it a trainer. No, um, definitely but not. But if you're familiar with the old Striker series and you love the the kind of profile, that flying wing, how the the speed, um, the agility with that particular aircraft, the UMX F27 is kind of based off that. So you're going to get that kind of performance in a smaller package. Um, very fun flying aircraft, and we also have a very good deal going on that on that particular model as well. Yes. So these are very different. Animals. Uh, you know, when we released the Delta Ray 1 last year, I know some people said, oh, it looks just like an F-27. Well, they're very, very different. That's I got a much thicker airfoil. It's made to be a trainer. It's slower. This is our first 3S compatible UMX airplane, and it is fast. I know that it may not sound that fast when you say it's 60, 70 miles per hour, but a little tiny airplane like this, that's ripping. It looks really, really fast, <laughs> right. and it's a lot of fun to fly. This thing, if you put it on even low-rate aileron and you roll it just full aileron deflection, it rolls so fast most people can't keep up with it. It's unbelievable. You guys can see kind of the difference there in the trim scheme top to bottom. It's got blue on the bottom, green on the top. It's very easy to tell top from bottom. A lot of fun to fly. It can kind of do the high alpha flying a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, it is a delta wing, so it doesn't tend to stall like a typical flying wing would. And uh, for that reason, that's why the F-27s have always been very popular airframes because they're simple, but they're fast. And on top of that, you can slow them down and kind of fly them around at a crawl or even in high alpha. Right. And they're very, very easy to land. Uh, and then also this has rubber nose cone, which is nice. 
and it's one of our very few UMX aircraft that's EPO construction. Yep. So it does have that tougher foam, it handles a lot. And I gotta tell you, I've seen a couple of these things go in at full throttle. It's amazing how little damage uh, they end up with. Right. Usually you break a prop if you're hitting on a hard surface in particular, right. uh, but I've been blown away by how tough this little guy is, how fun it is to fly. Regular price is 99 bucks as a mine and fly basic, uh, but it's available now in the sale for $30 off. So it's $69.99, so $70. Uh, the batteries are a little different than some of our other ultra micros. It's right. a little three cell battery, but those are about 10 bucks. So uh, you can use those in other, other products as well, potentially, but um, this is just a great value, a lot of fun to fly. Comes in the box fully assembled. You literally take it out, stick the battery in and go fly it. And so this is a bind fly basic, so it does not come with the transmitter, does not come with the battery or the charger. It's the airframe ready to go with the servos installed, the power system installed, the receiver already installed. You just bind it to your favorite spectrum transmitter and go fly it. Right. Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Before we move on to the P39, let's talk about uh, some of the stuff here in the middle. Uh, so we got some quads on sale yes. in particular. Um, this one is cool because this is based on, some guys might remember this from our early days of quads m many years ago. It feels like a long time ago. Maybe it wasn't that long ago, but the uh, MQX. The 180 or the, the, the I think okay, it was the before the 180, MQX, yeah. yeah. The MQX, yeah. that's what this airframe is based on. So it's tough, it's simple, it's very efficient. It's got some geared coreless motors, it's got yep. long flight times. Uh, and then when this came out originally, it was 99 bucks mm -hmm. as a ready to fly. It's on sale, it's basically half that price now. It's $49.99 ready to fly for a hobby quality quadcopter. This yep. is not a toy. This is not a, oh, crash it, broke it, throw it away. Right. You have full replacement parts available. It's got a bunch of LED lights in it. You can bind it to a regular spectrum transmitter, whether you buy the ready to fly version or also on sale is the bind and fly basic version. Right. And the bind and fly basic version is how much? Um, I'm not sure. I don't oh, that one. So it's, on it's ten dollars less than the the bind or the ready to fly. So it's thirty nine ninety nine. Ah, okay. So the ready to fly is forty nine ninety nine with a transmitter with a battery charger. Bind and fly basic is only uh, ten dollars less, thirty nine ninety nine. But you can bind that to your favorite transmitter. Uh, again, another great gift to give to people. Fifty bucks for a hobby quality quad that you're going to be able to service, repair. Uh, it, it flies great. Does have safe. Mm -hmm. And it does have the various flight modes, so you have stability. You also have the option to turn that off, so you can do flips and tumbles. Yep. Uh, it's just a good flying quad. You can fly it inside. It's kind of quiet enough, small enough to do that. But also, you can fly it out in some wind. Yep. Yep. So I really like that quadcopter. And once you graduate from that, we have the Scimitar 110 here. Ah, this yeah. is a awesome FPV platform. So if you're one of those guys who likes the tiny whoop scene and you're ready to graduate from your brush tiny whoop to something oh, a, little yeah. more, a little more aggressive, this is the guy to get. Um, we have a good sale going on on this. Um, really awesome product. I know if you guys have, if you're coming from the, the uh, what was the other 110 that we had? Oh, the Torrent. We, the Torrent, we had the Torrent 110. Yes. So this is a really good upgrade to the Torrent 110 as well. A little smaller of a profile, um, very fast. Operates off 2S or 3S, depending on what you guys want to run. Um, we have a really good sale going on this one as well right now. Yeah, this is, uh, again, it's, it's a racing quad. It's for a smaller category, the 110 size. Right. It does have brushless motors all the way around. Uh, it does have the FPV camera and, yep. of course, the, the VTX in there. Um, and it's ready to bind to a Spectrum transmitter. Yep. I think when this thing came out, it was 200 bucks. Yeah, roughly $200. Yep. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So yep. how much is it on sale for now? It's right now $79.99. <sighs> That's unbelievable. Guys, so those are brushless motors. $80 for four brushless yes. motors. You've got the FPV camera, yep. which has the adjustable tilt angle. You've got the, you know, you can select the different channels on the VTX. Yep. And it comes out of the box like this, right? Yeah. You just uh, stick a battery in and go. Yep. So this is also like a Bonafide Basic. Got the receiver installed. You need to bring your own battery, your own charger to the table, as well as your own transmitter. But very, very good product here for the cost, guys. So yeah, that's, a, that's a smoking deal. That's another one. If you're going from the so tiny whoop and looking for something to get more aggressive with, this is where you're going to start. Go to the sure. mini, mini whoop. Yeah. The, the, Instead of the tiny whoop. This is the aggressive whoop. <laughs> I'm not very well well versed on the, on the whoop yeah. cat categories, yeah. but yeah. I'm assuming it's one step up from that. It and definitely then, uh, is. We do have a very nice transmitter on sale, guys. This is, uh, actually, I think it's your all-time favorite. It if is. I'm not mistaken. I, yeah. I'm, I'm loving the DX9. That's, that's where I'm at all day. And this is, uh, we have the black edition now, which uh, I love the way this thing looks with the black sticks, the kind of all blacked out faceplate. Uh, this transmitter for many years now has been one of our best sellers. Yep. And uh, to this day, a lot of guys have never outgrown it. Uh, and that's not uncommon. If you fly a lot of park flyers, in particular, a lot of E-flight airplanes, even some of our Hangar 9 stuff, you don't need more than nine channels to get the job done. And so this is a, a little bit nicer case, sticks, gimbals, switches, a little bit of everything. Is, it's a step up from the DX6, DX8, of course, the E-series, the DX6E, the DX8E. Right. You buy something like this, you probably will never need to 
upgrade to a higher channel count or a different transmitter down the road. You're gonna have this for many years to come. It has 250 model memory built in, but you can put the SD card in the bottom and you can have unlimited memory, basically. I've been flying a long time. I don't even think, I've never needed more than 250 model memory. <laughs> I don't know who does. If you do, throw us a comment, show us what you got, send us a picture of your hanger or something. Cause you well, must, you gotta have something. You know, I'll tell you what, there's a couple of guys, I've been watching their YouTube channel. I, I can salute those guys in Slovenia. Oh, uh, you know who you guys are. Yeah. And they've got a DX9. And I think last model I saw in there is like 136. Their goal is to get to 250 models. Uh, so for those familiar with that channel, those guys are great. Um, and they use a DX9, they love it. A lot of people use a DX9 and love it. So this regular price is 479.99. Yes. And uh, for this sale, it's $80 off. Yeah, so 399. So that's 399, that's a smoking deal guys $399 for a transmitter that you probably won't ever outgrow you'll have it for many many years to come one of our best selling transmitters very highly regarded for a lot of reasons I love the way this thing looks love the yeah. way it feels in my hands uh, so again that's a really 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 great deal right now and I, I want to mention real quick guys on that that is a awesome deal these will likely sell that out will sell so out. yeah so if you're if you've been waiting yeah. to get one on Black Friday this, this will not be any better on Black Friday. This is the best that you're gonna get on the DX9 transmitter right now. So yes. these will likely sell out and it's while supplies last, guys. So if you are if you got a family member or yourself and want to upgrade to a DX9, a nine channel transmitter, now's the time to get one from now until December 2nd, guys. Yes, I agree, I agree. And then, uh, I, I love this airplane, guys. I gotta say, I've been flying the heck out of this the last couple months. Um, Looks like you wrecked it on the wing there. I, this wasn't me. Dude, that you probably wrecked that. So if I'm not mistaken, and I, I was out in Vegas uh, for the AMA District 10 Fun Fly, where I was flying one of these and ripping it all around on 4S in particular and having a blast. Mm -hmm. You guys did something around Halloween where you were, I don't know, running away from ghosts, flying away from ghosts, shooting for ghosts. I don't know what you were doing. We had a, uh, an invasion on the Eli Field of uh, a haunted Eli Field of some ghosts that needed to be taken out. So we actually used the uh, P-39 and a couple other airplanes, the Hobby Zone Aero Scout and the, uh, the Radian, the Night Radian. And uh, we had uh, some uncoordinated communication amongst the runway and the P-39 actually ended up going through the Night Radian. Ooh. So uh, that's actually the damage that you bad. see from the airplane. It's really not that bad. Um, we will, once this video goes on YouTube, I'll go ahead and, and post that clip with it so you guys can check it out. But it's, uh, it held through, it held its own pretty well. Whoa! <laughs> I got it, I got fire. it. Landing. <laughs> Landing. <laughs> yeah, this is a great flying airplane, guys. I've flown all of our 1.2 meter class Warbirds or the 1.5 meter AT6, which is the similar class model, just longer wingspan. Um, and it is a special airplane. This is not a terribly popular and common subject matter. Not a lot of people know where the P-39 is from. This is actually the fighter that the U.S. had when we entered World War II. We didn't have P-51s. We didn't have P-47s. Uh, this is what we started it with. It had a center-mounted engine here that ran a long shaft up to the nose, and it had a center-mounted cannon. And so uh, the benefit of that was that it was, it was easy to aim, kind of this large, high-caliber gun here on the nose. You just point the nose straight at your target, and boom, you're shooting at it. Uh, and it actually went on to serve for quite a while in World War II. We did end up uh, donating a lot of them over to other countries to use. Um, but what's nice about it as a model is it's a warbird, but it's tricycle landing gear, which is unusual. It was actually, if I'm not mistaken, our first uh, fighter or kind of warbird back in World War II that had tricycle landing gear, which makes ground handling super simple. Right. You don't have to worry about, oh man, I gotta really watch the rudder as I'm throttling up on a tail dragger. You know, I watch a lot of guys, especially when they're flying on paved or smooth surfaces with tail draggers, they're trying to keep the tail in line on takeoff to keep it parallel to the runway and they end up veering off to one side because it is a little bit harder to ground handle with a tail right. dragger airplane. This gets rid of that issue because it's a tricycle landing gear equipped airplane. It does have retracts, it does have split flaps, and if you guys haven't seen this airplane fly, what I love about it is how wide the flight envelope is. This is probably our out of the box, box stock, fastest Warbird in its class and also the slowest Warbird in its class. You can put the flaps down all the way and this thing comes by at a crawl and it's unbelievable how slow it's going. Sure. And you can set this thing down so slow, you honestly think it's gonna follow the sky and it just kinda of almost never does. Right. And so a, an easy to take off airplane, easy to fly airplane, easy to land airplane for a Warbird. This is a great first Warbird. Absolutely. To be honest, this is probably one of the best first Warbird or first low wing airplanes there is in existence, hands down. It handles so well. Top speed on a 4S battery is almost 90 miles per hour. 
You can change the three blade prop here to a two blade 10 by 10 APC prop and get it about 100 miles per hour without having to change the motor or the ESC anything. It's 3S and 4S compatible out of the box. I typically fly it on a 4S 2200. Uh, it just, it rips with that. It has unlimited vertical. With 3S, it's very, very good. So if you only have 3S batteries, no problem. You'll have a lot of fun flying this airplane, but it's a super durable airplane. Got a lot of surface detail, really good looking airplane. Has this huge top hatch. Uh, it's very, very convenient to kind of transport even at, with the wing on it already. Super easy to put together. It bolts together with like six bolts. Yep. And best no of all, it's $50 off right now during yes. the pre-Black Friday sale. Yeah, so that's the lowest off. price it's ever been. Yep. So regular price on this is $279.99 for the Bind and Fly Basic. In the sale, $50 off, $229.99, so yep. 230 bucks. That's less expensive than some of our airplanes that don't even have retractable landing gear or flaps. Right. So that's a very, very good value, guys. Again, perfect first Warbird. If you already have a bunch of Warbirds, you will enjoy flying this thing. It flies like a pattern airplane, lands like a trainer, uh, flies at full speed, almost like a pylon racer. Mm -hmm. It's pretty darn impressive. Every time I take it out and fly it, guys always kind of scoff. Oh, it's a you know, weird airplane, P-39. It's kind of an obscure subject matter. Then they see it fly and they're like, okay, I think I might have to consider one of those mm -hmm. now. So. We've seen the sales uptick on these recently because guys are starting to see and talk about how great it does fly. Right. Good flying airplane, awesome looking airplane, um, and a tremendous value right now. I, we right. could have sell out of these too. I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Yeah, a lot yeah. of these items probably will sell out guys by the time the video ends, yeah. Yeah, so have, have we had any questions that have come up? Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot in here. Um, just some guys really excited about the P39. Uh, yeah, good, good, good. It is a good product. It's a good one to be excited about. Yeah. I absolutely love flying this thing. I will always have one of these in my hangar. Yeah. So guys, like, like Jason had mentioned, we are watching the comments here. So if you have any questions about any of the items on the table or in the promo in general, we will be watching the comments here before or during and after the live. Um, this is just the kind of the air category items here. We do have, as Jason mentioned, we have the Hangar 9 Cub Crafters. That's also here. It's not present on the table. Yeah. Oh, and, um, and. We have the, the Pitts Paper Special, the 850 <laughs> millimeter biplane here. We wish we could have had one, guys, but like I said, these are selling pretty quick. Yeah. So we haven't had an opportunity to get our hands on one. Um, but there's many other items in the sale, guys. So if you're looking for a surface vehicle, whether it be a, you know, a Baja Ray or something, there's a lot yes. in the sale. Number of low um, sea vehicles in particular. Yeah, yes. lots of low sea vehicles in the sale. We have helicopters in the sale. We have boats in the sale. Um, there's a, there are several items in the sale that's not, there's more that's gonna be coming for the Black Friday deal. We can't right. really, we, we can't we really tell you what's earlier. coming yet, but there, there's gonna be a lot more coming towards the, uh, the, the Black Friday sale. So if you're, if you're wanting to hold out, I understand, but these items that you're seeing here will not be a part of the Black Friday sale. Well, they will be. Well, actually, yeah, they, they will be they kind of overlap. Yes, there will be additional yeah. items, yes. So these items went on sale as of yesterday. So when you guys are seeing this video here live on, on uh, Facebook right now, they are uh, on sale as of today, as of yesterday, all the way through Black Friday right. and into Cyber Monday. Right. While supplies last. So if these items sell out between now and then, you won't be able to get the sale price. You won't be able to right. back order at the sale price. After uh, Cyber Monday, they're gonna go back up to regular price. Right. Now, for Black Friday, that's the second part of our sale. So this right. is the pre-Black Friday portion. We have the full Black Friday sale right. coming. Uh, for those that have stuck around for the video, I'll give you a tip, starts on Wednesday. So uh, next Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, uh, we're gonna go ahead with our Black Friday sale on right. Wednesday. So the, <laughs> the deals that you see on the table won't get better no, going these forward. are the lowest prices. These are the lowest prices of the season. Yeah. They will not get better than what they are now. So if you're holding off, don't. They won't get better than this. Exactly. So these are the lowest price of the season, lowest price of the year on all the products you see here. We will add some extra products on uh, you know, that next Wednesday for the Black Friday sale. So be sure to check out our website. Uh, these deals are available on horizonhobby.com, also at your favorite local retailer, your favorite online retailer. As long as they're participating in the sale, they'll have those prices on these items. And again, Wednesday, we got the kind of next batch going live right before Thanksgiving. If there's some really smoking deals that day, you, you're gonna want to keep an eye on, on our page for that. There are, some of those items are gonna sell the first day. Yeah. Those Absolutely. deals are so good. These deals are also phenomenal, guys. These are really good values on really good products, really great products. We're really excited about them this year. Again, everything from trainers to some higher end product. We got the big X Cub 60cc on sale, which it's never been on sale before, as far as I know. Uh, and so it's, it's really hard to beat some of these values at the moment. And I know if you're sitting back going, I don't know, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait and see. Again, you might miss out on some of these airplanes. If they sell out, that's it. You missed out on the sale. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so a lot of good stuff here, guys. Be sure to, again, like, um, comment, 
share, subscribe, subscribe all, of, all of that. Uh, we've got this, we're live on Facebook right now. We're gonna be posting this on YouTube tomorrow so everybody yep. else can see it there. Uh, and be sure to check out the Horizon Hobby Sales and Specials page whenever you can. It's not just for pre-Black Friday and not just for Black Friday. We have sales ongoing throughout the holiday season. Yep. Uh, so be sure to check that. Also, be sure to check with your favorite local hobby shop and your favorite online retailer as well. Yes. All right. All right. I think we're all set, guys. Again, you didn't wear your Santa hat. I didn't. Well, this was actually supposed to be for you. No, it's too no, early. No, it's not too early. It's too early. You're it's such a pre Black Scrooge. Friday. You it's are a even... Scrooge. You got. I'm wear listening the hat. to Christmas music that? already, but I'm oh, not wearing a hat. Goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, guys, Jason's gonna wear the Santa hat no. in a video that's coming soon. No, I'm not. Yep. Soon Ever. to be Santa in the next video. No. Yep. All righty. All right, guys. Again, we're gonna be Thank watching you. the comments here. Comment if you have any questions. We'll be here to answer. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.